What's going on everyone? Welcome to my new Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie in the... What? Ah, uh, <laughs> Okay, what's going on guys? Okay, that was a bit silly. What's going on? Uh, welcome to Ukulele. This is the game I've been talking about in my last couple of videos. Uh, I'm playing this on my PS4. Got it for my birthday. Uh, which was a few weeks ago as of recording this. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to play this. I am... I've already played a little bit. We'll, we'll go into the menu. Man Adventure. I've played a little bit of it, like the first bit of the level, so you can see I've played a bit there. Five hours? I feel like five hours I've played. I think I left that running. It's probably only a couple of hours I've played. We'll get our special Game 2 new game here. We'll just get right into it. And yeah, this is meant to be a spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie, which I believe is, is almost 20 years old now. Um... And, I mean, I have some opinions on the game so far, because I've played a little bit. And I am going to be comparing this a bit to Banjo-Kazooie. Unfortunately, it kind of has to. Uh, I feel it's... And the loading screen's frozen. I think that it gets past that. But yeah, I feel you have to kind of compare it to Banjo-Kazooie. Just because that is what it is intended to be. It was meant to be. Um, it's developed by Platonic, and... Most of the guys from Platonic originally worked for Rare. Not most of the guys, but there is a, a, a core group of people that did work for Rare way back in the day. Uh, will I play a Rare game on my channel? Yeah, probably. Uh, Rare games are amazing. Uh, if you're a younger person, haven't played a Rare game ever, uh, like on Nintendo 64 mostly, uh, you're missing out. You are absolutely missing out. All right, so we're going to start in Myvery Towers? Hyvery. Hyvery Towers. Hivery Towers, that makes more sense. Okay, some uh, good puns there already. Alright. He's obviously a bee. Okay, and there's... There's a duck. Everything has been prepared to your specification, capital B. Can you make this faster? No, you cannot. Okay, we're going to have to sit through this. Capital B. Not the... M most... Not, not the best pun. <laughs> okay. Mm, do you think this new statue is golden enough or too golden? Oh, it's um, Doctor Quack Two Cent Cup. <laughs> I like that. Focus test it. These employees need someone to look up to. Hold on, what is that? <laughs> Vice President. <laughs> And it like does, you do that thing where you get to the edge of the page and you have to write a bit under it. Yeah. I do that all the time. My handwriting's terrible. Then so if that plus is casting an awkward shadow on the president's plinth? Plinth? Bennett. Of course. You're the boss now. Is he going to betray him? <gasps> now, we're ready to see the latest profit prompting technology, Dr. Quack. I'll say, I'll say what I think after these guys are talking. My, my prediction, because I don't know what happens in this game. Yes, sir, I prepared the Novelizer 64, my most... Alright, we're coming out with the Nintendo 64 jokes already. Okay, I see how it is. This is the only player in the mind. <laughs> uh, undertones. I'm curious to some dynamic strategy, Doctor. I like it. Nice graphics. Prepare the device immediately. I want to be on the world... Four's golf course by lunchtime. Some meta stuff already. Decent graphics. It, especially the background characters. They're quite good. They're not just, you know, necessarily just repeated characters. They've actually got some character to them. And it looks like they're still on a bunch of books. And they've got a bunch of weird green leathers. That's odd. And quack. Make sure you secure the special book. What could this special book be? Okay, so my prediction, Dr. Quack's going to be the real villain in the end. He's going to form... Or we're going to have to fight him, but I think he's going to be the real villain. He's going to, like, the B guy, and then Dr. Quack's going to be like, oh, I'm this massive robot thing. That's what I, that's what I think anyway. But whatever. I'm also filming on this on my brand new Elgato capture card, uh, but I, I think you kind of got that if you've seen my recent videos. Ah, this is the life. I think this old shipwreck finally feels like home. Laylee, 
Okay, we've got Yuka and Laylee, obviously. That'll be my vibrant paint job, Yuka. Yuka being the lizard. It's about time we renovated this place. Most of the rooms haven't been touched since we moved in. This is a long intro. Grand Chikazooie's wasn't this long, was it? It probably was. Rose tinted goggles. Insects made them delicious. They were. Okay, that's alright. I like look at the background. It's multicolored paint. All right, and there's just wait, wait, what's the magazine? Pants. And why you should wear them? Okay. Oh, pirate treasure. I bet that's worth loads. It looks antique. Really? True. <gasps> but the book's moving. <gasps> we should flog it. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's Lily Aussie. Hey, my profit book. It's been sucked away. The pages. They're escaping. And they're golden? How did you not notice, dude? I think that book is a bit more special than you thought, Laylee. <coughs> Quick, after it! It's worth even more now it's a flying book. Okay, and we get control again. Okay, that intro wasn't as long as I thought. Okay. Okay, good. It didn't tell me how to jump. It didn't say press X to jump. I don't like that. I don't like that when. Okay, let's get. Okay, we can. Just check it out the camera. Check out the controls. Just check it out. Let's give it. Get a good look at the model of the character. Good model. Laylee's just sitting there like that. I like that. I can get behind that. Okay, so the idea is that we can't jump off that. The idea is that they're friends. I think. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Why do these things amuse me so? Okay, so we don't have an attack button yet. That circle does that. And, X, and we have a double jump. We have a double jump to begin with, actually. Banjo-Kazooie didn't have that. I'm going to stop saying Banjo-Kazooie had this and Banjo-Kazooie had that. Have a look around. Get this crate a bit of a lick. Okay, so we can push crates. The fern actually moves when you walk through it. That's always a good start. There's sort of splashes. Okay. Damn, I'm being critical of this game. I have to not be so critical. Like, for example, I played Just Cause 2. I wasn't critical of that. I was just like, oh, this is a fun, uh, this is a fun game, whatever. Oh, can we get up here? Yes, we can. Can't get in there. Da -da. Not bad music. Reminds me of the old Pitfall game. That's a game I want to play. Um, Pitfall and uh, PS2. That's that's what this uh, reminds me of. Uh huh. It looks like we have a dude over there. But is there any other way we can go? There's a bridge down there. Ugh. Not the best camera. Does it just go up to the same spot? I want to go check it out. See, if I was in a Zelda game, I'd bomb this wall. But we're not in a Zelda game. Oh! Okay, so we're off to a great start. That's that's just a great start. Let's um no, I must conquer this. I must conquer it. Can I open the treasure chest? Yeah, I don't think we have a button. We don't have a button to do it. Okay. Okay. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. Oh, 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 almost. <laughs> Whee! Surely we're going to get a thing in there later in the game that allows us to kind of flap. Surely. Okay. New character. It's... Screw it. Let's just... X to talk. He's a snake in a tie and trousers. 
cool. And uh, I'm not sure what to make of that hat. Indiana Jones hat? Not quite. Not quite. All right, pals. Lovely to see you. See you, sorry. Hi there, I'm Yuka, and this is my buddy Laylee. Do we know you? Of course. It's me, Trout. <laughs> he actually is called Trouser. It's more, they're more shorts. The honest and dexterous salesman. Yeah, I remember. You're the crook who sold us that dodgy flat screen. <laughs> Laylee's cool. I'm not sold on the Yuka. Nope, not me. You're, you're surely mistaken, friend. Hey, Trouser. Did you happen to see a magical flying book go through? He's just talking on the phone. The five quills I did, they're in demand. Now this book business has kicked off. Perhaps you can find enough lying in the treasure chest. In those treasure chests lying around. I already tried lockpicking those while Yuka was asleep. No chance. Ah, so unlike them, you'll need one of my trademark special moves. By using uh, square... A green friend here can form the tail twirl attack. It's smashing. Press sexual the squared attack. Got it. Excellent. I go back this treasure chest with my five quills. See why? I'm a quill. One of two hundred on each one. Oh, so that it's notes plus, musical notes plus. This is gonna be a collectathon, by the way, guys. If it's uh, really um, go back to the treasure chest If it's really uh. Banjo Kazooie inspired. It's gonna be a collector thon, which is okay. Collector thon's not bad. Yeah. So, what I don't get straight away, why did they just give me that to begin with? Like, why not? Banjo could do it to begin with. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I'm tasty butterfly energy. Be nice and collect me to refill your power bar. Sorry. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. You know. Oh, there's another treasure chest over there. Another quill. So yeah, I, I dislike it when a game just does that. It's like, dude, they just assume you've never played a video game before. It's like, I guess jump was good. It just, it didn't say press X to jump. It just assumed. Ah oh, yes, that seems to be enough to jog my memory. Come back here. Okay, just to give you who this guy reminds me of. Any Ratchet and Clank character. I have a lot to say about Ratchet and Clank. I'm going to stop talking about Banjo Kazooie. I can lick them. I can. Mm. I may as well collect extra quills. Okay. Use our double jump. Um, in ingeniously? We can use it in a smart manner. What's going on, dude? Hey Blasto, how are you feeling today? Cough, not so good, my throat hurts and I almost totally lost my voice. That'll be last night's karaoke. Your performance blew us all away. <laughs> I get it. Hans. Cough, I'm not so sure. Oh, I, I think someone held a yellow newspaper this way and I accidentally inhaled it. Cough, I wish there was a hard hitting cure that could pound me back into shape. Uh, grab pound. Where's the Z button? There's no Z button on these controllers! You know, let's just... Can we kick this into the river? I want to see what happens if it goes to the river. Does it flow? Where did it go? I like doing stupid shit with games. Alright, let's get back to Trouser. What's the good word, dude? What's the good word? Go on then, Lispy. Spill the beans. Where's our book? Your book headed toward the business beyond this gate. Strange things are going on in there since the takeover by Hivory Towers Corp. Take over of what? I'm headed there myself to sell some moves. Allow me to raise the gate. Sure. Come on, Yuka. Let's get that book back before Trezor realizes we didn't give him those quills we found. <laughs> right away! Alright. 
assume we can't climb this because we, yeah, we couldn't climb the thing before. Okay. That is fine. I assume we'll get some walk possibly to get up there. I, I miss all that. Pressing X again. Well, in the, yeah, all right. We... It's like... We'll need to crouch with L2. Okay. That's an okay one to say. But jumping... Every video game person in history knows how to... A tutorial classic. We'd best stand close to this. Okay. Whatever we can use... L to swim. I assume there's a dive button. L2. Yep, crouch button. Pretty classic. Extraize. We've all read the manual. No one reads the game manual, dude. No one does. Comment if you read the game manual. Because no, no one does, right? What's the point of this? I, I guess there's a thing up there. You gotta assume jumping in there is bad. Well done, game. Can we just... Oh, we can. I love it when there's destructible things. What are those blue things up there? Sorry, bad memes. They they look even shiftier than trouser. Maybe they're lost? Okay, you cause the naive one, I get it. I doubt it. If I were us, and I'm 50% of us, then I'd attack them with square. I like those soft shooters, a health bar won't auto refill. Yeah, I don't care. If you, you're gonna explain stupid stuff that's obvious, and these guys are enemies. Like, I can figure that out myself. It's just like... I don't need a game to hold my hand. Okay, we can get up there. Where does this go? What? I got up there like two seconds ago. Oh, it's just a shortcut back. Okay. Okay. And we can't get back up there. Okay, just a shortcut. I like finding little secret stuff, alright? Alright. No trespassing. This is private property. Yuka, hello. We're searching for a missing book. It looks like it went this way. Your book belongs to us now. As will most of the world's supply before long. Wahaha. That's a weird business plan. Are you opening a book mobile? Actually, it's just one book in particular you're interested in. Now scram before I call security. Okay. There's something not right about this place, Laylee. We should investigate. Should we? I thought we were just looking for our book. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be critical of this game, because I, I, I am critical of games. I, I admit it. I'm overly critical. I'm that kind of person. Okay. Okay, there's already books on the side up there. Hivery Towers. <laughs> there's Trouser again. Okay, he's one of those dudes. Hey, friends, over here. Lovely to see you again, pals. I see you've got up to speed with your basic moves. Yuki gave himself a short tutorial on the way in. Okay, we're making jokes about it. I can I can get through it. I can get behind that. Smashing. Time to put your skills to work. I've spotted a piece of your book. It's conveniently probably... Yep, yeah, floating on top of his head. Okay, sure. Why don't you go ahead and collect and find out what's going on? I'd get myself, but I've got an important call coming up with the World 1 boss. <laughs> He's after one of my super moves. <laughs> Yeah, right. Really? Really? I don't need... Okay. The reason I'm kind of groaning there is because that's that's not an overly critical thing. Oh, cool. Cool. We got a cool move. Choo. I'm being overly critical here, I know. But I don't need a game to show me how to jump up platforms. 
You could have just said, it's up there. I don't know how to get there. Go get it. That's what you should have said. Platonic, if you're watching this video, and I'm the most popular YouTube channel ever, so you're definitely watching this, just say, the page is up there. And that's it. Just tell me that, and then let me find it. Because that's, that's what it should be. Uh, I mean, we'll go get it. We'll probably have to end the episode, but we'll go get it. Where's this go? Oh, nope. See, that's good. Teach me some mechanics without... Okay, teach me some mechanics without just outright telling me and we can't get up there. Are you having trouble reaching that shiny thing on top of the gold statue? Heroes these... <laughs> Heroes these days. Uh, okay, that does get us some distance. I haven't played much of this game. I played like that first bit. Okay. See, I should have just been able to figure that out myself. So I've got a save icon. That's what I was looking for. I guess we'll hear what he has to say. Hello there. Who might you be? I'm a pagey. I live inside the all-powerful one book. The one book? How much is one of those worth? Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. The one book is incredibly powerful. It's been stolen by the evil capital B. Okay. I do like the little sounds. If capital B unlocks the power within, his crooked company will have the power to rewrite the universe. This is some deep shit. Likely us pages have fled the one book and gone into hiding. Without pages, the one book is just an empty shell. If you use me to unlock... One of the grand tones in this factory. We can transport to another world, yep. Yeah. And search for more of my friends. So it's, yeah, pretty classic. Don't worry, we'll help you, Pagey. Come on, Leo, let's find one of those grand tones and search for more pages. Sure. Hey, pals, I believe I can use Sister in your crest. Why don't you come down and see me for the details? But we got a save icon. And I was going to time this episode, but because of my superior Elgato technology, I can see that this is going for 20... I've been recording for 23 minutes. So that's about 20 minutes, so I think I'm going to have to bid you adieu. Thank you for watching the first episode of Ukulele. Let's, let's see if I can be less critical of the game as time goes on. We'll see how we go. I'll catch you next time, guys. See you later.